a dative covalent bond is a covalent bond in which a single atom provides a shared electron pair, where we know that a covalent bond would normally form, in the example here, in a water molecule, a covalent bond forms between the oxygen and the hydrogen when each one of them provides a single electron, their orbitals overlap and that becomes a shared electron pair and these two atoms then are held together by their mutual attraction for that shared electron pair. As we can see here, this water molecule or this oxygen atom also has what we call two lone pairs of electrons, meaning those are electrons in the valence shell that are in their own orbital and we call those lone pairs of electrons. Now it is possible when we react a water molecule like this one with a lone pair of electrons with something like hydrogen chloride, HCl, which we know to be a polar molecule. The polar molecule can often in the presence of water dissolve or what we say dissociate into a positively charged hydrogen ion and a negatively charged chlorine ion. The reason for that is that the chlorine ion has essentially taken the valence electron from hydrogen which leaves the hydrogen positively charged and the chlorine negatively charged. Now what we find at this point is that this lone pair of electrons, obviously their electrons, is negatively charged and would therefore attract the positive hydrogen ion. That attraction between those two forms what we call a covalent or a dative covalent bond. So our original bonds remain in place, the two original bonds with a shared electron pair between hydrogen and oxygen. But now what we have is we have what's called a covalent bond, also referred to as a coordinate bond between one of oxygen's lone electron pairs and that positively charged hydrogen ion. The other lone pair remains. And now what we have found though is that the number of electrons in this ion has not changed, but the number of protons has. And so we have formed a positively charged ion, which can be written H3O+. Plus. That is the formation of hydronium, and obviously our negatively charged chlorine ion remains. So the big difference here between a covalent bond and a dative covalent bond, or a coordinate covalent bond, is that the shared electron pairs provided by only a single atom. Another common example is that of ammonia, NH3, which when reacting with a hydrogen ion, again this could come from HCl or any other compound that gives off hydrogen ions, what we can see here once again is that the nitrogen atom has a lone pair of electrons which would attract this positively charged hydrogen ion and so we would form here ammonia through a dative covalent bond where our original bonds remain intact but we have now formed an additional bond and this has created a positively charged ion also known as NH4 or ammonium. Important to note here that it can sometimes be written, we sometimes indicate a dative covalent bond by drawing an arrow. That arrow would show us that we have formed a bond here that is not like our traditional covalent bonds. It shows us that the shared electron pair in this bond is provided by nitrogen to hydrogen.